Brian glad to be saved and filled today. Amen. I truly am happy to be at peace with God in my life today. Amen. I know there's a lot of things to divert our attention and then and try to trim us up, but you know Jesus Christ is the same yesterday today and forever. Amen. And Sister Julie's famous saying, if God brings you to it, he can take you through it. And that's we gotta keep that in mind, you know. Amen. So uh, let's all look unto the Lord tonight. Father, Amen. it's so good to be in your presence tonight. We're thankful to be with the spirit filled people tonight, oh God. Hallelujah. It's just good to gather together in your name. Feel your presence. All been under the press today, oh God. But we we want to press on in. Hallelujah. To the kingdom of God. Whether it's peace and righteousness and joy and the Holy Ghost. Bless us and lift us up together. Refresh us. Amen. Teach us thy ways and truths. Open our hearts and minds to your God. And we'll thank you for it and praise you for it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know, I, I, I love playing music and watching young people learn to play. Because it, 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 it's fun to watch them. I mean, you got to share them now. I mean, they're... They're coming right along. They're getting there, you know. And when he didn't know when she's out that stool and she's gonna be able to do this, but she's got to believe, begin to believe now. Maybe she can. And that, that that's that's the fun of it, you know. Brother Jerry was a was a roadie. He he loved music, and uh, he wore this music. He wanted to be around it, but he never imagined himself playing. He always wanted to. And uh, so finally, I said, "Look, what you need to do is get a bass and get over beside that bass man and let him play and sit and watch him and play play with him." Just, just stop around on you. I said, you'll learn to play. And uh, after a while, it was quite a little while, he was still wasn't sure what he's doing. He was in the cloud. But one day it came to him. It's all patterns. It's like on that piano key there. 88 keys there. Good Lord have mercy. And you know what? They're, they're all different objects. They're all within just a few hours. If you could play it here, you can go down here and play it here. And you can go on down here and play it here. Same thing. And, and the pier, same way. And it's all it is. If you learn to play in that that small position, and you're thinking this whole thing, see, but no, no. You just move your position down do the same thing in another position. That's really all you do, you know. And uh, But anyway, Jerry was over on that base, and I almost remember the night I saw the light come on in his eyes. I get it now, first, second, third. I mean, it's, you know, you can't go up a hill on high, you got first, second, third, right? You got to put them gears together, and he figured out the gears. <laughs> I drive the big old truck, and when he got the gears, but he had it. He knew what he's doing, see? It's all about knowing what you're doing, and it's fun to watch. To watch people figure out, and you know we got we got some guys here that these rhythm guys. It wasn't very many months ago. The half time they didn't know what we was doing. They do now. They hit it. They very little do they miss. I hear. I listen. I hear. And it's fun to watch that. Watch them develop and figure out. Well, I can do this. Why well, I can do this? You know. And uh, serving God is the same way. There are certain precepts, if you can get a hold of them, if you can get a hold of them, you can make this thing work. All right. It will absolutely work. And you don't have to reinvent it. You just you just, you just, just take it like it's laid out there. It's already been proven. He's already been to the cross and, and done everything. It's already paid for. He's already died for you to have it. It's a gift. You don't have to beg for it. Amen. No, you know, it's all right there. And if you can just get a hold of it, oh, it talks about laying hold on eternal life. If you can just lay hold of it, I'll tell you what, it'll change your life. All right. Change your thinking, change your attitude, change it from the inside out. And then serving God is not just a drudgery, something I have to do. Hey, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I think I'm going to get something done. And it's fun to watch people develop in that. And and I, I think the Lord, He given opportunity to whosoever will, let Him come. Take of the water so Oh, you might say, oh, I wish I could testify like so-and-so. It's been such a beautiful time in my life. We've had people in this church. I remember Charlie Shell. He got saved. He was 74 years old. And one of the first things he said in this church was, I don't even know how to pray. I said, Charlie, God's going to teach you how to pray. And I want you to know, before he died, people got where they were. They wanted him to pray over the offerings. They wanted him to pray because he could give some most beautiful prayers you ever heard in your life. God gave him that prayer. Amen. He he had, had no idea how to pray, but he God gave him prayer. Or you might say, I wish I could testify like so and so. And I've seen God give people a testimony. See, nobody can tell like you can. Amen. I cannot tell it like you can. 
Because you know what's in your heart. You know what you're dealing with, what you've been through. And when victory comes, I cannot tell your story. I can tell it, it just won't have the power. I've tried to retell other people's story. It just don't work. But when you tell it, it's with power. Because you know where you've been. You know what, what God showed you. Amen. And when He reveals it to you, you got her. Amen. You got her. Praise When you got her, you got her. Uh, so say he'll take you to the water, make you talk in tongues and totter, and you know for sure you got her. <laughs> they used to say it many years ago. He'll take you to the water, make you talk in tongues and totter, then you know for sure you got her, and it's good enough for me. <laughs> uh, come on, girl.